I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear that I will faithfully, that I will faithfully, impartially, impartially, just. Nigerian-born Jude Obasi Nkama of Eboyin origin, taking the oath of office as a judge of the Newark Municipal Court, the first African to be so appointed in the 349-year history of the city. Prior to his elevation to the bench, Jude Nkama had functioned as the chief Newark prosecutor, bringing to bear his wealth of experience in justice administration having been admitted to practice in year 2002. Not one person who attended the administration of the oath of office ceremony doubted his qualification and competence for the job given his track record in the city and the state of New Jersey justice administration systems. Not just because he's an African, not just because he's a Nigerian, whether he's Igbo or Yoruba or whatever from North New Jersey, because he's a good man. So, but what happened is that you failed to understand that you didn't just pick Jude on Cameron because he's from Nigeria. You picked Jude on Cameron because he was qualified. Also, now I just want to say a couple of things about uh, Jude on Cameron. I think that he's probably one of the most humble guys uh, that I know. He is very quiet and soft spoken. I don't know what he's doing in private still. When I see him, you know, he's, he's always humble. And, 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 and I can tell a person's spirit. And uh, I know he's just not doing that for me. I know that he is a very humble person. Um, no joke for me is. Members of the African community who converged on the city council chambers for the event said Jude Nkama's elevation was a further testimony to the enviable exploits of diasporan Africans, particularly those of Nigeria extraction in the United States, describing the city council as currently constituted as being highly receptive of the immigrant community and its rich human resource pool. So I just would like the council members led by our former Africa, the council president, for affirming the vision of our great mayor, leadership by inclusion. We can no longer stand on the sideline, especially if we have an administration that is willing ready and able to work with us as we have seen today. As yet another eloquent testimony to the contributions Nigerians, nationals and diaspora make to the social coherence and economic development of their respective goals and standards. Whenever any group is coming out of Nigeria, within the American community here, we feel very like elected. So from the constant Members of the bench affirmed that the new judge had exercised sound discretion in the performance of his duties over the years and have no doubt in his abilities for the current task. In my short time, I'm going to spend a lot of time praising Jude about his intelligence and integrity and temperament because all those things have already been revealed as a result of his short his stint as an assistant prosecutor, the chief prosecutor, and also in his private practice. But what I want to talk about is one of his greatest virtues, which is his sense of gratitude. The new judge summed up his feelings thus. As an immigrant 
coming from a in Nigeria. This was never a part of what I thought that my life would become. But today, that's what it is. In the United States, this is history all over the world. Yeah. I thank God that we live to see this history today. Yeah. I thank the City Council for believing in our community because where we come from, community is first. If we did not have a community that had integrity, I probably would not have come out from a community with integrity. Manner that has been recognized today by Mayor Rajparaka and the City Council of this great city. Apart from being the very first African to be appointed into the bench in the city of Newark, he is also the very first in the state of New Jersey and the third in the entire judicial history of the United States. From Newark City in New Jersey, Adeshino Anidube, OGTV News.